Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna take a look at my guitar parts for songs off the album, Revivals in the Air. We're gonna do a quick walkthrough of the parts first, and then we are gonna do a full playthrough with the track. After this video, be sure and check out Jonathan Lee's parts for this song. You can find the link to his video in the description below. In this video, I'm running through my full pedal board as you've seen it in my rundown video, stereo out into my AC30 and ProSonic, which are isolated in the other room. Be sure you check out my store after this video where you can find all of my Strymon presets that I used on this album as well as other albums. You can also find Line 6 patches that include song specific Helix patches, camper profiles of my amps, and I have some fractal stuff coming soon for the FM3 and Axe FX uh, at the time this video may already be up there. Uh, if you're watching this at a later date, we'll see. I also have impulse responses for the Iridium or whatever takes IRs uh, for my amps and a lot of different cabs. So check those out after this video. If you find this video helpful, please be sure to leave a comment, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you are new and ring that bell so you get notified of new videos. I appreciate all the support to the channel and all that YouTube stuff. All right, so let's dive into the song. So taking a look at Prepare the Way, this song is in the key of D at 80 beats per minute. And the first time I come in is on the chorus with some rakes. And effects wise, I'm running the Destroyer on the Mobius with that vibrato and some uh, reverb and delay. And I'm running no drive pedal. So it's just some clean rakes and it sounds like this. So if I play those without effects, it's just the two, the six, one, and to the five. And for that chorus, I was running a cloud reverb and a D tape setting on the timeline in Big Sky. For the verse, I switch over uh, to the same uh, cloud and D tape settings, but just with some different lighter parameters for the verse. And the verse goes like this. So just something a little rhythmic there. After the verse, we're back into the chorus. I hit on my first stage uh, kilt drive and we play the same thing, just big diamond rakes. Then we go into the bridge. I switch to a clean tone and we stay on those same reverb and delay settings. And the bridge pretty much just builds following the melody line and just kind of builds um, subdivisions and gain. So starting at the top of the bridge, it sounds like this. So that's where it starts, just playing that simple melody line. And by the end, when everyone is in, this is what it sounds like. So check out the playthrough to see how that bridge ramps up, but that's pretty much all the parts for Prepare the Way. Here is the playthrough. <laughs> 